U.S. President Joe Biden's son has pleaded not guilty to tax offenses after an agreement with federal prosecutors fell through. The judge expressed concern that the original plea deal could protect Hunter Biden from future prosecution. Asam Khan reports. Hunter Biden left a courthouse in the American city of Wilmington after pleading not guilty to charges of failing to pay more than 100,000 U.S. dollars in taxes in 2017 and 2018. The son of President Joe Biden initially had a plea deal with federal prosecutors for a two-year probation. But Judge Mariellen Noreka, who was appointed by Joe Biden's predecessor and possible presidential challenger next year, Donald Trump, nipped the plea deal in the bud. She effectively placed on hold the agreement under which Hunter Biden would enter a guilty plea on the tax charges and admit to gun charges. Noreka was concerned that the original deal would protect the 53-year-old from future prosecution. As a result, a messy political affair just got more complicated. Republicans labeled the earlier agreement a sweetheart deal, which no ordinary citizen would get. The plea deal was aimed at ending a wider five-year-long investigation into Biden's business dealings abroad when his father was vice president. Noreka gave the two sides 30 days to report back on where they stand. The White House has refused to comment. Azam Khan, HKIBC.